Imagine standing on a space battlefield. The air hums with tension. In the distance, a colossal mothership emerges, surrounded by spaceships, creatures and energy fields crackling in the atmosphere. This is what we are about to build. Hi there, and welcome to another Sound Particles video. Creating movement in traditional DAWs is simple when you are working with just a few sounds. But when you start building complex scenes, it quickly becomes hard to manage and even harder to make it feel real. That's where Sound Particles truly shines. Working in a full 3D environment lets you position sounds naturally in space, and our movement modifiers make it easy to create evolving motion, bringing your scenes to life, naturally and effortlessly. Let's open our session and dive in. Let's start with the main focus of this soundscape, the spaceships. Here I've created a particle group using some whooshes and spaceship sounds from our explorer cloud. The best part? In sound particles all it takes is a simple movement modifier to make them fly across the sound field. Since sound particles already has a Doppler effect built in, you don't need to worry about simulating the physics yourself. Now, if you are new to sound particles and don't know where to start, our AI assistant can guide you. Just tell it what you want like this. Type create a particle group with a 50 meter radius spread in a cylinder area and name it comets. There it is. Now let's add a rotation movement across the field and add our granular synthesis to make it feel more organic. Type now add a rotation velocity movement and the granular synthesis audio modifier. Then simply drop your sounds in. As you can see, the AI assistant makes setting up complex scenes very quickly, perfect for new users. Next, I wanted life, strange organic sounds that could make this world unpredictable. The creatures bring texture and motion, while the monsters add scale and threat. Their call and response creates tension as if these entities are reacting to the mothership. For the monsters, I use the particle emitter so their growls appear randomly around the listener. Since all sound particle tracks are format agnostic, when adding creature sounds, you don't have to worry about converting anything for stereo, binaural or immersive outputs. I also used our in-delay plugin on the creature screams to make them feel more alive and spatially dynamic. Take a listen. Now, to give the scene atmosphere and emotion, I added our virtual instruments. Grain dust and sky dust create an ethereal tone that opens up the space, while mini dust adds sparkling details that bring texture and depth to the mix. As tension builds, energy fields and quantum mechanics take over, like power systems charging up before a major event. In Sound Particles 3, to quickly add fades or trim audio, you can use the built-in audio editor for simple, precise edits. Of course, our AI assistant can help you here too. For example, try typing, split the audio files in the track flyby multiple times with random time intervals. And just like that, you've created variation and randomness without any manual work. Finally, everything converges in one big moment, the explosion. After the chaos, the energy fades and the world returns to silence. Navigation error. 
To render the session, you'll need a virtual microphone, like this. You can choose the mic type, stereo, binaural, ambisonics, and place it anywhere in the 3D space. If you want to record from multiple perspectives, just add more virtual mics and position them around your scene. The key here is motion and evolution. Nothing stays still. Sounds should breathe, react and transform over time. That's what turns a collection of sounds into a living world. Let's hear everything from the ground up. And that's it, our space battlefield built entirely with Sound Particles 3. Now it's your turn to create your own world and let sound tell its story. You can try Sound Particles 3 for free with our 30 day trial at soundparticles.com and share the results with us. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and tell us in the comments what you would like to see next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.